Well, I was chair of Women's Caucus, and uh, I was very pleased to have had at least um, two terms plus as chair of Women's Caucus. At the same time, I grew up in an environment when women and women's accomplishments were really not uh, emphasized. And I always felt that there were so many women who've done so many wonderful things uh, that it's important for us to tell the story. So when I was approached uh, to uh, assist in getting the statue of, this, of the famous five women, and there was um, a plan afoot, some funding already had been gotten by a group of women from out west, and they really wanted to see the statue, not just out west, but they felt the place that the statue should be, uh, Parliament Hill, near the Senate, because the big discussion was around women being allowed to be appointed to the Senate. And uh, so I thought, well, there's Chair of Women's Caucus, I brought it to the caucus. And everyone was, yes, we'll do this as Women's Caucus, and I was going to be the voice and the face that was going to put the motion forward. Well, the first attempt to discuss where the statue was going to be and, and to get permission for the statue had to do with the rules around the ownership of Parliament Hill and who can put what on Parliament Hill. And so on the books was the, a, a statute that said only dead monarchs or prime ministers who were nation builders statues could be on Parliament Hill. And therefore, we're sorry, Mrs. Augustine, we can't put those women, no matter how important they are to you and in history, that cannot happen. Sheila Copps happened to be the Minister for Heritage at the time, and Sheila knew that it was possible to rescind this age-old um, statute and to replace it with a motion calling on the House to agree that the statue be placed on Parliament Hill. And so I had <laughs> a really interesting day standing up, putting the motion, and then having and looking for unanimous consent. Of course, we didn't want a bill that had to be read and all of that. We just wanted a motion, unanimous consent, and it's done. So I stood up, had my little script. Mr. Speaker, you will find that there is consent that the statue of the famous five could be placed. <laughs> and then there was a big no from, the, um, from one corner on the opposite side. And it was uh, John Nunziata, who was a liberal member at the time, but was just thrown out of the caucus and was sitting as an independent, I guess, um, on the other side of the, of the chamber. And I kept standing up on a point of order, kept standing up different time, point of order. And each time he would say no. He remained in the house. It was almost like cat and mouse. He remained in the house. He got his staff to bring him all his Christmas cards. It was December, and so he was signing all his cards, and he was not going to be moved. <laughs> and uh, and I, you know, I also was stuck in the house because I wanted to be there, and I wanted a moment when he would either go to the washroom or leave the the chamber to put the motion. And um, he didn't until the very uh, end of the day. And he left uh, Gary Brightcross, who was a member from the West, to say no. Gary, when I put the motion, I thought, uh, you know, the, the whip called me, he said, you know, he's gone. I think he's gone uh, for the day. He's gone for the day. He's gone to Toronto. So I got up, Mr. Speaker, you will find. <laughs> and. Uh, and Gary shouted from, um, I guess he was behind the curtain, he was, um, he flew into the chamber. And Patty Tosney, who was uh, the member for Burlington, I think, at the time, she, she shouted, Mr. Speaker, he doesn't have, he's not in his seat, Mr. Speaker. And further, Mr. Speaker, he doesn't have his jacket on. So Mr. Speaker looked over to me. I continued with my, <laughs> with my motion, 
And is it agreed? Is it agreed? Agreed. And so we got the motion for to put the statue on the hill as a, from a, uh, a position where unanimous consent was not uh, there at first. And once John was gone and Gary could not vote because he didn't have his jacket on and he was not in his seat, the statue of the famous five motion was passed and uh, they were just wonderful sculptures. And every time I go to Parliament Hill, there were just crowds gathering in the area of the statue, crowds gathering around it, because it's not only beautifully and well done, but it's also reflective, and it's also um, a place where one can sit on the bench, lean on the, on the high table, look at the cups in the hands of the women and recognize that back in 1923, uh, 24, 25, that these women were struggling to have women, uh, um, women appointed to the Senate of Canada uh, because at that time women were just chattels of the husband or they were not women in law. And so to have um, the Constitution, um, uh, we had to go all the way to England, of course, to, um, to get that change in the Constitution, that women were indeed persons, persons in law, and therefore women were entitled to be appointed to the Senate of Canada.